Amanda touched the heart of most people that she met. She, she did something. It was something, her smile or what she said or her laughter or her humor, and she had quirky humor. And, and someone always found the this, this side of Amanda that they liked and that they wanted to remember. Because even her pediatrician, who's been looking after her for a long time, and said to me, and, and I know that uh, doctors who have waiting lists don't keep patients around for very long, and he even said, I'll follow her till she's graduated, because there's a piece of her, there's something about her that I want to, to follow. There's, she just touched the hearts of everybody for some reason. You know, the media asks, why wasn't she in sports or activities to keep her busy? And why was she on the internet? Well, she did use some internet stuff on her downtime. But you know what? In her whole entire life, she figure skated in our community. And she swam competitively in the summer for a couple of years. She did gymnastics. She did soccer. She cheerleaded for six years. Um, she played ice hockey in our community and we she 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 was busy she did as much as any child could and maybe a, a little more um, so it's it wasn't about that part of what what we didn't it's not about a child who had nothing to do and just sat on her computer in her room 24/7 that wasn't it We provided her with outlets for activities. We provided her with, um, when she was in need of, of support, there was counseling available to her. She, there was doctor support available to her. Um, there was school support available for her. Um, we did everything. We did everything we could. Um, and ultimately, there was, at the end, I'm not even going to say it wasn't enough. The first time that she was threatened, it brought out her anxieties. And then her anxieties just escalated. And with every compounding event that happened, every time that she was bullied by um, the online predator, um, it brought a new round of comments from her peers. and. It just spiraled her depression. It made her sad. I don't call it depression per se. It made her sad how people could judge her that way. Um, she realized the error in her actions, but the, that error couldn't be erased because it was on the internet. Um, we talked about it, and she tried to. She tried to forget. She tried to sort of try to make it go away, but it wouldn't. She tried to change schools as a fresh start, but social media made it hard because wherever she went, it followed her. We knew we were trying to help Amanda. The kids around her weren't helping her in some ways. It didn't really help that after she got out of the hospital recently that um, a group of, of uh, some kids that she had told me started calling her psycho and that she had been in the crazy hospital. I talked to her and tried to, to tell her to ignore it, but how can you ignore things when they've been said? So is that part of verbal bullying? Yes. And th did that cause? She was, she went to the hospital, she had therapy, she had counseling, um, she was on a good track. And then the day she gets out, that happens. So I shake my head and I think, are kids really that nasty? Do they really not think? What if it was them? As, as media reports, you know, am I, was I the bad parent? No, because the, the people that surround me will easily vouch for that. I did all I could for her. 
with her her personal with all her personal struggles i i managed to find her the right medical stuff i helped her find the right educational tools um I, I, she, she wanted to cheerlead again, but her anxieties wouldn't enable her to. But I know that, that um, with sports and with singing, she wanted to sing again. Um, all those things were in place for her as soon as she was ready to start. So, um, I'm, <sighs> Amanda was born into the right family. Can we stop for a while?